Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on a beautiful Thursday afternoon. One of the nicest days of the summer season. Why not sunshine? you got decorative fair with the clouds in Providence right now. Humidity has dropped. It's not extremely dry, but boy, it's not as muggy as it's been really all summer long. We've got temperatures that are in the 80s. Look at the beaches. Uh, more crowded today just for the simple fact that there's more in the way of sunshine. Looks like the tide is, is low, but coming in down at Narragansett Town Beach. Temperatures along the shoreline in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Just picture perfect. These are the temperatures as of 3, almost uh, 4 o'clock. 83 Providence coming in at 81 in Boroughville and uh, upper 70s to lower 80s uh, across the uh, south shore in New Bedford at 83. And again, the humidity is down just a little bit. So what we're watching, well, nice weather this evening. Uh, heading out, any outdoor activities now through the early evening. It, uh, it looks good. Uh, scattered showers for Friday. But tell you what, I would say... Almost, let's say 80% of the daylight hours of Friday probably dry. I'm thinking this activity doesn't get in here scattered until late day and early evening. That's with the approach of a cold front. I'll show you that in just a second. So, you know, heading out on Friday, take the umbrella, keep it on standby, but you may not need to pull it out until probably late in the afternoon and, and certainly towards Friday evening. Uh, weekend still looks good. I think any early morning clouds and some leftover humidity on Saturday will clear out. And certainly by late morning and 12 noon Saturday, the sun is back, turning less humid. And overall, both the Saturday and Sunday are looking good for uh, outdoor activities. Take a look at the satellite and radar composite. It is clear and quiet, just some fair weather cumulus clouds. Uh, we'll extend the view out, and then we'll show you across the Midwest and the Great Lakes. So what we have here are two fronts. Of course, the red line, that's the, uh, that's the warm front. And this blue line is a cold front. So the warm front coming through overnight into tomorrow morning, that'll increase the clouds and the humidity. And then the cold front actually swings through late Friday afternoon, early Friday evening, Friday night. That'll bring a, a scattered shower, or a rumble of thunder. And then behind the front, back in here, the air is drier, less humid, and that's the comfortable air that's headed our way for the weekend. So good timing. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, the forecast uh, hour by hour for this evening. It looks good. Uh, 7 o'clock, uh, 78 degrees. Your sunset now is around 8.15. By 11 o'clock in the evening, we're looking at 71. And for Friday morning, uh, more clouds than sun, mostly cloudy, humid. Uh, don't really see much in the way of shower activity here. Uh, there'll be a little fog along the coastline early. Uh, 68 at 7 a.m., 74 by 11 a.m., Partial sunshine, but mainly cloudy during the afternoon. So clouds, a little hazy sun, warm and, well, not warm, but humid. Uh, temperatures in the upper 70s. The precipitation chance is starting to increase as we get towards 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the evening. Some scattered showers and with a better chance as we get closer to sunset and, uh, and thereafter. Uh, bay forecast for your Friday. Looking at an east uh, breeze turning southeast. Yeah, at about 5 to 10 knots and uh, waves of uh, about one to two feet, visibility two to four miles, and some early morning fog and the chance of a late day shower.